Hello everyone, welcome back to Odoo 14 development. We were discussing about advanced reviews in last few videos and we are still doing that. Now we are on graph view. That means uh, we are going to discuss about Odoo's graph view in this video. So uh, you know uh, what the purpose of gra uh, graph view. So uh, graph view allows uh, aggregated overview and analysis of uh, the models. So uh, the graph view and there is another view called pivot have the same uh, same uh, defi defining uh, same uh, view definition. Okay. So we can uh, define the pivot and graph view. We uh, have the same structure. Okay. So let's go to our uh, graph view. So in the, uh, in our case, in our Open Academy, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, add one field, a compute field. It's called attendance count, and uh, we are defining a compute function for that and then we add the view in our xml file okay that's what we are going to do so first let's go to our model so here in our model the open academy session under the open academy session object we are adding attendee count field so in this attendees count field, you can see the string and the compute function is given here, get attendees count. So this get entities count is defined uh, the bottom here, API using the, uh, we are using the decorator API.depends and attendee ID. So it depends the attendee ID is one too many field. Okay, so this is the attendee IDs. Okay, now uh, it's a many to many field. So this uh, it depends on this many to many field. And uh, for R in self, R dot identity plus count, so the length of identity ID. So um, in attendees count, we will get the number of attendees. Basically, that's what it means. Then uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to define the view in our XML. Okay. Now, uh, this is our uh, GAN view that we defined in the last video, and this is our graph view. So, same as the GAN view, we have the it's an object in the IR UI view model, and we have given a uh, unique name Open Academy Session Graph View. Okay, and uh, then uh, this is Open Academy Session Graph. Then it's an open academy session is our object, same as the uh, all other uh, views. Then uh, field name arc type is given XML. Then you can see the root element of our graph view, it's DAF. Then we have given a string, okay, participation by courses. So field name course, field name attendees count. Sorry, uh, course ID and attendee count. So now you may have the what the graph will be. Okay, so it's a participation by course. So uh, we will have in each session we will have a uh, attendee count field, and we are going to make a graph view. It will be grouped by course id and it will show us a different uh, total number of participants attendees in each courses in the graph so here you can see for the attendees count we put type is equal to measure so that uh, indicates whether the field should be used for grouping or it should be uh, uh, taken to calculate the aggregate, aggregated value. Okay, so that's the uh, type uh, measure. Uh, so we can have different values for uh, this type. So one is measure, you can see, 
and then one is row and column so this um, row column here the by, uh, by default it will be row if you didn't give anything then it will be used as used for the uh, grouping purpose and if you put it as measure it will be used for the pivot concept and if you use row uh, sorry column it works in the pivot view I at the first of this uh, video I mentioned that they both have the growth and the pivot view have the same view definition same uh, concept we are using for both of them so uh, this uh, code value uh, type is equal to code value is used for uh, pivot tables so this is uh, what we have now in our view definition let's uh, since we have made some changes in the python file let's restart this then let's go to our open academy module go to apps first then let's update So here in our open academy, open academy sessions. Oh yeah, we forgot to add a graph in our action. Okay, let's go back to yes our XML file. We didn't add a graph here, so that's why uh, it didn't come here. You see, we still have the list view and the calendar view and get view. So let's go back to our apps and uh, update it again. Open Academy, Open Academy Sessions. Now you can see the graph view here. Let's click on this. Nothing. So let's add some attendees for our sessions. Session one, yeah, we have attendees here. Go zero, go zero. Okay, all of them go zero. So let's check again. What's the value? Oh yeah, yes, it's showing six. Okay, I didn't miss that. Okay, let's uh, create uh, some some sessions for other courses. For the course one, we can put session. One zero insert attendees. attendees. Let's go edit. Okay, let's add some seeds first and then decorate. It. Yes, and uh, we can create another one for course two. Yeah, we can put some name session. Okay, session. Zero as in structure, we can put a zero. Okay, we can pay five. Okay, so let's how it's not good. Yeah, we have some more data now. Let's go to sessions. Let's go to graph view. So, this is uh, the graph view. Now we have different modes here. You can see. Uh, in the measures we have other uh, aggregatable fields and then this code is the uh, one that we have given as measure and system automatic take the duration and number, number of seats so these are the values that system can aggregate so that's why these are coming under measures and the one that we have given is taken as by default and count Will be always there okay so these are different modes so it's a bar chart and it's a line uh, line chart and it's a pie chart and this one is stacking so by default uh, the stack option will be false i think uh yeah sorry uh
yeah uh, so uh, stacker will be false when you click on that you can um, see the data stacked if you have a lot of data then uh, it will be possible for you uh, to see that and also uh, there are other options that we can give is the type so you can see these are the four, uh, three types uh, and the one is also uh, with the stack so here these uh, three these three types you can give uh, by default the bar will be by default so if you want your graph should uh, to be opened in the line chart as by default then you can put type attribute we can give type attribute here for the graph so here we can type is equal to line okay so let's uh, update our module once again and see what's the change we have Open Academy sessions. Now you can see the graph comes in line. So if you change that into pie, then uh, it will be the that two-dimensional pie chart. Okay. Then uh, another options that we have is order. Uh, the order means. you can you can set the um, order field uh, and the, the records will be ordered sorted by default uh, according to that measure okay according to that values and it will be only uh, usable in bar and pie charts not in the line then uh, the next one is disable linking so disable linking by default it will be true so that means if i click on this one it will sorry um, it will be true and uh, uh, sorry a disable linking will be uh, set to uh, set to false so if you want to disable this then you can set true okay so disable linking will restrict you from clicking and redirecting to the list of these records now if i click on this it will go to all these three sessions and if i click on this it will go to that session so related records uh, when clicking on these things it will uh, go to that related records we can we can alter our view and we can check them now disable linking set as true then let's go to our apps and update our open academy module Okay, let's go to sessions. Review. Now uh, we can see now we have added disable linking property. Now we cannot click. Okay, so this is another attribute that we can give. And uh, uh, we can we can have other uh, options like uh, interval title invisible this kind of things so uh, that's a uh, not that important uh, so if you want you can check the odo reference document and so just to show the title or in our graph view those kind of things so thanks for watching uh, i hope uh, you enjoy the video understand what we are uh, explaining and if you haven't got the point then you can comment under this video 
we will try to uh, answer your queries thanks for watching once again Thank you.